Welcome to Tangling Along With Me. We are continuing on TangoPatterns.com and it is this pattern today. Let's open up the book and find a place for it. So we're almost done with this page, but we have a few places left here. So I am using my Micron PN in black. You can of course use a O1 or something else like that. Um, I think it would be a nice place to make mine right here in this corner. Uh, so I am going to make a starting point down here and I'm just gonna make these thin strips here. And you can make these bend as you want to. So I'm starting at the same point going out in kind of a like a stringy thing, oring it back and ending at the same point again. So it's pointy in both ends. And I am going to make one right here as well. There we go. So it's actually quite simple. And then in these rooms we are uh, popping in C shapes. So I am starting here at the points. And then I'm oring the C shape all the way down in this room in between. Just going all the way down. And I'm gonna do it again over here. And then oring that shape all the way down. All the way down to the point. And the last one Again, the C shape and then oring all the way down here. There we go. Normally you would leave it like this, but I am thinking of uh, actually coloring in these uh, things here between the C shapes, because this way it is kind of lifting up from the pattern here next to it. And it also gets a little more drama when you do this. And of course you can have even more of these uh, things here than I have if you have a bigger room. Or you could uh, maybe only have one or two of them. Uh, one and two. Uh, I have three here. So this uh, way this one can grow and it could go even bigger and longer and um, there's a lot of possibilities in this one. There we go. Actually I think that actually turned out really neat. There we go. I am going in with my white charcoal and I'm deciding for a little highlight here in around the middle of these using my Tatcha Young to soften it out a bit. And today I got it the right way around the white charcoal first and then the graphite. So let's go to the graphite. I am just gonna pop in a tiny bit graphite here along one side of these. I 
like that, taking my Tati Young and then soften out that graphite, making it kind of a shadowy thing here next to the white. You can do it on both sides, but I think I'm gonna leave it like this this time. I think that turned out really, really cool. So that was the pattern for today. It was this one right here. Thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude.